Master Chief Collection progression system being added in. We're going to be talking about it. It was updated in a blog post. We're going to get all into the details for you guys. We're talking about the modernization of the Reach progression system brought throughout all of the Master Chief, not just Halo Reach, account level progression, season and unlocks as well. And top of that, challenges are coming back so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details how's it going everybody it's kevin here once again giving you another news update video when it comes to halo we got a bunch of stuff we're going to talk about for halo reach guys so i you know i've been posting videos pretty much every day now because the news has been hot so if you enjoy these news information videos please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the progression system as well when it comes to the mcc and just reach in general and if you're new to the channel well up to date with anything involved mcc halo 5 halo infinite everything in between please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell keep you up to date with any time we do anything awesome on the channel so let's get right into the information here so as i mentioned at the top of this video there was a recent blog post that was up on halo waypoint talking about everything that's going on with the mcc i highly suggest you go in and read that it's very long very lengthy very detailed and uh, so much information guys i gotta break this thing up into multiple videos so it doesn't drag on forever uh, so the do mention in the beginning of this video is that it's gonna everything's at work in progress right now nothing is set in stone everything you see is just like placeholder stuff nothing like art names descriptions uh, unlock values everything in between it's all just like place value stuff nothing's actually set in stone right now but this is going to be the general experience you're going to have once the progression system comes to the MCC. First off, we get to see this awesome screenshot of what the UI is going to look like for the main menu. And oh my God, this just looks so good. Uh, it just looks so clean and just you get a real chance to actually kind of enjoy the art that gets put into these games and it's fantastic you also get to see what your current rank is and also what your current season level is on top of that added in, added into this and it looks like they're going to be making a little bit of change in the upper right hand corner you can see to uh adding players to your lobby right now the you know press x move over to invite players and then da, da, da. it's a quick little just hit that button, invite people in, which is gonna be a real nice addition for sure. The reason why they're adding in a progression system into MCC now is that they really want people to stay with the game. As a, as a you know, with any other game out there, there's a progression system. And why do they have those? Is because it retains player much more than just having the full game out. Imagine playing any other shooter out there and the reason why they kind of cap things out of different levels and so then you just get overwhelmed with the entire experience get exactly what you want and you're done playing the game and so that's what they're going to be doing with this making like the armor sets uh being part of the progression system new uh name plates emblems things of that sort and so they're looking to try to add that into the game here so they found a way to where they wanted to try to give you that same feel of halo reach progression which is probably one of the best progression systems ever put into a halo game but they're like well how do we kind of make it more modernized to what people are kind of like nowadays compared to where it was then? And I do kind of like this little trickle of unlocks. It just gives you more incentive to keep playing the game. They found that basically with Reach that it was really about like how much credit you had. And that was really more kind of like your level rather than the actual level that you got in the game as well. So they're trying to make a final way to have a clear distinction between credits that you earn that you can spend on these different tiers and your overall XP that you have. Here's a fantastic screenshot for you guys of what your kind of post game XP gain stuff will look like. As you see, you got your bars, you got your numbers on the left and right side, and your ball master kind of uh, achievement, or I should say medal, and then the amount of XP you get for that medal as well. It's very simplistic kind of stuff. And I uh, was going to more detail about what this all means. Now, the way to gain XP with this new progression system is by matching in any dedicated server to play on that would be either pvp or pve as in like match made multiplayer games or firefight uh, they don't say anything about private games so that's probably just because it will probably lead to people boosting up their ranks and that's just a big hassle as long as it just you match into a game online you'll be able to gain xp and that's regardless of any halo title it doesn't have to be halo reach it's any halo game you will be continually gaining xp and credits to get through these tiers xp is gonna be awarded to players based on two different categories it's gonna be performance 
performance and teamwork and basically based off the amount of medals that you get that those two categories and you will see in the progression screen as well about which points how many points you earn for being like a good team player and how many points you earn as an individual performance as well and also experience will be capped per match uh really again just to kind of avoid boosting and so people don't just cheat their way to the top and get everything and then don't play anymore that kind of defeats the purpose of really playing this xp grind in the first place so this screenshot i'm showing you guys right here is basically the examples are going to be showing for the tiers and credits you'll be needing to spend right here so you can see on the far left is each little cat box that you see right here is a different tier and those x those little stars that you have right there in the bottom are how many credits you need to get to that next tier so obviously the higher up you go onto these seasonal tiers the more you'll need to play the more uh, credits you'll need to earn and the great thing is you'll be able to see within each of those tiers what you'll be earning as well now it also does mention about saying like if you see in the lower left hand corner it says halo reach pack grenadier now that probably means you'll be getting the grenadier armor piece when it comes to uh, that pack right there uh, but they don't want to show it right away or again it's probably just placeholder kind of stuff so it's all kind of subject to change but it'll let you know what you're going to be earning per tier and how much you'll need to spend to get that tier i do mention as well that if you're going through these tiers and say like in like tier two you got you like something there but in tier five you like something else and you don't really care much for tier four but you do have to still buy tier four to get to tier five you kind of just you know that's the whole point of this xp thing is grinding your way through now when a season resets you don't have to worry the unspent points that you've earned do not go away and there does the content or tiers that you have to unlock as well you get to keep all that it just keeps you going throughout the whole thing uh, like i said the, the first season's got to focus mainly on reach kind of content and then next season probably focus a little bit on ce then halo 2 halo 3 etc now the season will also affect your hardcore rank as you do know that a lot of people play a lot of halo 3 ranked and they're also bringing uh reach to ranked system as well as invasion is going to be ranked and much like in halo 5 how we have those seasons where your rank gets reset they're doing the same thing for MCC now. So you'll, your level 50 will get reset about every three or four months, much like how it happens in Halo 5. And then you have to grind back up again. But they do mention about how they're looking to reward players who spent the time in the competitive matchmaking and getting those ranks up as high as they can possibly get it. And give a little recognition, probably like a nameplate or something like that to kind of show that they have spent the time out in there. And so when your ranks get reset every season, that's you don't feel completely legit. Me, personally, I really like the idea of having a seasonal reset. It just kind of gives me a reason to hop back in and play again. And also, a lot of times, I like to kind of challenge myself with every season. Be like, oh, this season, I'm really going to get a good free-for-all rank. Or the next season, I'm really going to try to get a good Slayer rank. And one of my favorite things about Halo Reach was the challenges that they added into the game. Where it gave you a weekly and daily kind of challenges to do something in the game. Something a little different. Get, get you out of your comfort zone and play something different. Well, to bring that over to MCC as a whole as well which that is fantastic uh if you remember my long long time ago video back in the memories of reach dlc for halo 5 i put in there saying i would love to see daily and weekly challenges come in well they're doing that for the mcc now and it's going to reward you uh, more points and a variety of different kind of game modes uh, they do mention how they don't know if there's going to be exactly a at launch feature but they're really looking into uh, adding this into the game it's definitely going to be put into the game they just don't know exactly when and how and also just on a side note guys that progression does carry over cross platform so if you earn level tier seven or whatever the numbers is in on the console and you're like let's play on pc today well you get to keep that rank because that rank is tied to your microsoft account not to the platform and so you can hop back and forth between the different platforms and keep leveling up your same account continuously which is huge for me because i'll be definitely hopping, hopping back and forth between console and pc uh, so i get a chance to play with you guys and play with some other people that might be only on pc so this is a huge huge thing i'm really glad that 343 is putting in time and effort for that also i just wanted to show you guys the animations that i'm going to be looking for when you do rank up in the mcc and yep it just looks so satisfyingly awesome that 
it's just that's fantastic that's exactly what i'd want in a ranking system right there for xp that's just exactly perfect and just seeing that it just makes me so happy that it gets me more and more excited about having the progression system in the mcc yeah guys this video turned out a lot longer than i thought it was going to be but hey we have a lot to talk about we have some more things to talk about we're going to be talking about the matchmaking settings when it comes to mcc coming next especially for halo reach to give you guys some more clarity on that topic as well so stay tuned to on the channel here if you're new to the channel make sure to tap subscribe with the bell so you see every day we never do any kind of videos on the channel tap a like button if you enjoyed this kind of video or learned something from it leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the progression system added to the mc in this tier system that again it's going to be cross-platform so your xp will be gaining no matter what platform you're playing on and it's completely free there's no money involved actual money involved with this whole thing it's just an awesome you know tier setup system that i'm excited to grind my way through for sure well, thank you guys for watching i greatly appreciate it if you're new, new to the channel or missing any content for me make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now i'll catch you on the next video peace out